<sighs> hey guys, it's Ryzen. And Liz. And uh, Patriots, um, barring the biggest miracle in the history of miracles. <laughs> There's 10 minutes left in the fourth, but the game's over. Uh, it's 38 to 9. Um, I don't know, maybe Stidham throws a garbage time touchdown or something, but I, I doubt it. Um, I mean, the highlights of the game are uh, Bill broke the phone. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? Go no, watch that, that's, it. That's the Patriots highlight. I'm, I'm not kidding. There is no highlight. They had one play by uh, Newton where he broke, um, he got tackled, he got hit from behind, somehow doesn't get tackled, which... And he scored a touchdown. Man, that's pretty bad in confidence by whoever hit him. I, I, I forget who hit him, but... Jesus, and then he juked a guy out of his shoes and scored, so that's good. He tied Grogan's record with that. Yay. whoop de do whoop de do <laughs> right? Um, that's basically it. And there was a double pass that they did that, you know, would have been good if, you know, Bird knew how to catch a ball, but, you know, he doesn't because he's the mere Bird and he's terrible. Yeah. Um, probably shouldn't be on the team next year. One of many. One of many. Um, Asasi Asi, whatever the heck his name is awful basically dropped like three or four passes he, he's awful player um Myers had an okay game uh Michelle and, and Taylor had good games when you could run the ball but obviously you can't run the ball when you're down 20 points so right that took care of that um D-line was god awful uh, they were good against the run Jackson Wouldn't... was horrendous in oh, this Jackson's game terrible Really um, bad. I know you're going against Stefan Diggs, man, but Jesus, you got to play better than that. Yeah. I mean, he he bad. He's looking at the quarterback instead of paying attention to Diggs, dude. You're trying to undercut, uh, uh, um, like a like a deep post. I mean, what are, you, what are you doing, man? Right. You're not gonna undercut that. I mean, the ball's gonna be thrown to the right, and you're never gonna undercut that. The other play it's, in this game that absolutely infuriated me so cam got sat like midway through the third quarter and stidham came in so we could actually see if he's you know got any Unfair, any talent right? and he throws a beautiful pass down the field and harry runs the wrong route yep harry runs the wrong route it was a beautiful long pass and harry just once again to run a deep out and instead he ran a go once again just he needs to go. He, he does need to go. Like at this point, I mean, it's it's very obvious that him and Bird and the three all the I mean, tight ends. Bird can at least could could stay as a fourth receiver, maybe. I, but I, I guess. But I mean, Harry, there's just he, he's got nothing. Yeah. Myers can be a solid number two or three. But Agreed. You, you got to get. They need receivers. You got to get receivers, and there's just no excuse for what they did to this team. No, it's horrendous. Um, now. Having said that, look, that doesn't excuse Cam's play. No, it doesn't. Because he threw multiple balls in the dirt. There are more, yeah, and frankly, so did Stidham. I'm gonna give Stidham more of a pass because he did not take first reps this week. Look, we'll get to that, but Bill, what are you doing? Right. What are you doing? What What did you gain out of this? I mean, nothing. Well, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Just. Yeah, there was one pass where Harry was open and Stidham threw, or Cam it was threw Cam threw it, threw it in the dirt. It's just like, really? And it's just... And there were multiple times where he did that. Mechanical things, he just doesn't plant his feet. He doesn't throw his shoulders. He doesn't turn his body properly into throws. And it's just... Yeah. Mechanical things. And there's just really no... There's no justifying it. I mean, this is a guy that won MVP. He should know better. Right. He just should know better. So there's really no no highlights to really Just talk the about Newton at all. Run, rushing touchdown, which That's is more funny than, than anything. anything else. Yeah. And, and Buffalo, for some reason, was really bad in the first like couple of drives. They dropped everything. It's weird. Outside of that, Out, they were. Outside of that, outside of that, Josh Allen freaking had a monster game. I, I look, if Josh and, Allen doesn't win MVP. That's that's BS. Total BS. I mean, him I, and Diggs are lights out right now. Josh Allen's the best quarterback in football this year, and I don't think it's close. No, I don't either. Um, I mean, Mahomes and Rodgers are the only two guys in his league, right. and Allen is, is clearly better. Oh, absolutely. He's got I almost, mean, what, a 70% yeah, completion rate? Yeah, he's rate? got like a 70% completion percentage. He's got a 50% completion percentage of like 20 yards or more. That is nuts. Has he thrown, how many picks has he thrown this year? Almost none. Not very many. I mean, the guy should be MVP. He if he's be. not MVP, then you're playing favoritism based on names. Oh, absolutely. It's it's time to give it to somebody give different. Give it to somebody new. I mean, the Bills are playing really good this year. So, 
They got a monster trade for Diggs, and their O line's playing fantastic. Well, the right Patriots now, barely touched them. Right this now, game. They're, my, they're my Super Bowl favorite. So for the AFC, yeah. Oh, I think they're gonna win the Super Bowl. The NFC, I don't know. The AFC is so stacked this year compared to the NFC. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna have a, a probably an eleven and five team miss the playoffs. The Colts are probably gonna unless they win next week, they're out. Well, they, they, and somebody so, else somebody's is, gonna win next week and be out. Right. Very likely. It is what it is. So. Meanwhile, the NFC, you got the NFC East where a team that's going to have six, seven wins is going to make the playoffs. Right. It's going to be the, the Eagles or the Giants or... Well, it can't be the Eagles. The Eagles are out. Oh, they're They're done. four and ten. Okay. So it's going to be the Giants The, the Giants, or... Washington, or Dallas, I guess. I mean... And it's just ridiculous. I mean, for Dallas, it would be really unfortunate because of, you know, Dak getting hurt really It is ridiculous. I know, but it's still ridiculous. I know. they got to change these rules. You cannot have teams that, that have basically losing that have, records. That have losing records make the playoffs. You've got to kick them out Right. for a team that has a winning record. They have to change something. I mean, one of those AFC teams that's going to be 11-5 deserves to be in the playoffs. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely deserves Like the Browns the or, or the Colts, the Colts or whoever. You're telling me you can't slot them in that Eagles slot? I know it's a different conference, but change the rules. Just throw it away. Change the rules. Them. Swap them out for a team that has a winning record. Right. I mean, it's just, it's it's unfair. It yeah. just is. I mean, what, why are you rewarding a division where you could basically suck in the vast majority of the games and make the playoffs? Yeah, you shouldn't. And get a home game on top of that. That's not right. It's nonsense. So, you know, I hope they do change that finally. Eventually. It would be nice. It would be nice, but... Anyway, really the only thing I want to talk about is um, why didn't Stidham start this game? Look, I don't I, know. I don't think Stidham's any good. But I'd like to be proven wrong. I'd like to have a chance to be proven wrong. Oh, see, That's there a you good go. Check down to James White. But what, what did you gain by starting Newton? The other thing that actually pisses it's not me even off. Contract. The other thing that pisses me off is now they're taking the starters out and putting in some of the second team yeah, they players, are. which. That doesn't really help because... Do you, do you want to evaluate Jared Stidham or not? Right. We need to know if he's decent. Well, he's got he's got more yards than Newton does. Yeah, but that's not hard to do. Look, I... Newton had, like, what, 39 passing yards? I know that yards? Newton Pathetic. probably runs their offense better because their offense is based on his running nonsense that they do. But they, he doesn't even do it that much. I know, but that's what they're thinking. I'm just going by what they're... I know. Their logic is flawed, though, clearly. Um, you got to know what you have. Jared Stidham is the only quarterback under contract. He's got to throw that into the ground. Pervert, yeah. Did he just throw that backwards for a fumble? I, There's no, no way. No, that wasn't backwards. There's no way. That's forward. <laughs> Whatever. That has to be. That's a weird. It took them forever to make that call. I think because it bounced backwards. I guess because it bounced backwards. but Whatever. Anyway, um, look. They've got some hard decisions to they make do. in the offseason. They do. I mean... I mean, it, and one of the big ones, I think, is going to be a corner. Do they keep Gilmore, or do they get rid of him? And same thing with Jackson. What do they do? I don't know. I don't know. Well, they got a problem with... they got a lot of problems. This the problem is Gilmore season. blew his knee out partially, which means now you've lost trade value. Well, it was his quad. Oh, it was his quad. Yeah. Okay, that's slightly better, but... Ideally, you want to get a first round. Oh, that was that's nice. Excellent. Uh, I don't think he caught that. Well, what a, it was nice. Nice yeah. throw. But I just, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I hope Gilmore recovers. I hope he's okay. But from what I saw to J.C. Jackson, maybe you should just pay Gilmore and let Jackson go because yeah. Jackson's performance today was, was pretty bad. Um, he let Dig score three touchdowns. No, I'm part of, I mean, that wasn't entirely his fault. But that one where he misplayed the deep post, this is this inexcusably bad technique. Yeah. And it, that's one of the biggest problems this year on defense is their technique has just been atrocious. And communication has been an issue right. all year. And I know part of that problem is due to the eight guys yeah, opting you lost, out. You, know, you lost Van Noy, you lost Hightower. These are the guys that do the communication. Right. And so it's hard to recover that. It is. It's really um, hard to have new guys thrust into that role. There was a really bizarre official screw-up in this game where they said Osheski touched a punt that was nowhere near him. It was totally that was obvious. weird, and they ruled that Buffalo had the ball at the five. It made no sense. I mean, you look, you look at the replay, and the ball is five yards away and doesn't even change direction on the bounce. So, yeah, man, I, thank God for replay. Right, exactly. I mean, thankfully, they replay all these, all these possession changes now, which is great. That's the best rule change they've ever made. Yeah. You know, review all the fumbles and the interceptions and the scoring plays. 
So Paul's right. So next week, the in the last game of the season, the Bills play the Jets. Or the sorry, the Patriots, Patriots play, play the, the Jets, Jets in a completely meaningless game. Yeah, it's a meaningless game. Even if the Jets win, look at Kraft. He's like falling asleep. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> look, if I had to guess why why Newton started, Bill didn't want to get swept by the Bills. Oh, and probably. I, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't care. I don't either. At this I don't point. care if the Bills sweep us. Whatever. The season's over. Yeah, it is I mean, what it is. Whatever. You're going against, I think, the best team in the AFC. I think the Bills are prob I, They're well, probably... They're probably... I like the Bills better than KC. I just do. Um, especially if the Bills get their running game going, they're going to be unbeatable. Oh, I think so, um, too. But I think... I like the Bills better overall. I think Allen's better than Mahomes this year. I like Buffalo's offensive line better. Stephon Diggs is the best receiver in football. And it's going to be... Pre and their defense is great. Oh, yeah. So and it's going to be really hard to beat. Be some fun playoff games to watch. That'll be sure. So, you know, I think in a rematch, I think Buffalo beats Kansas City. Oh, I think so, too. I could be wrong, but, you know. Who knows? Be a fun game to watch. I don't know. So, that's it. So, the final, it looks like the final score is going to be 38-9. to nine. Unless uh, some if, garbage if it's different, we'll happens. put an annotation, but whatever. Uh, Stidham should start next week. There's really no excuse. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Jets win next week. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Who cares? If they do, good on them. Yeah, the Pats would go to six and ten, and six and ten. So and the Jets we're, would we're go to four six and, and ten. Nine. If Look, they if they did lose though, and a couple other teams lost, we, could get a we would get a number. Pick. They would get the number nine pick, but that requires a bunch of magic to we happen. Should, yeah, whatever. We're still gonna get a halfway decent pick, but it's either gonna be nine or somewhere between nine and fifteen. But whatever. I mean. What I don't want us to do is draft a wide receiver because Bill couldn't draft a wide receiver to save his life. No, and there's been a lot of talk in the community about Bill handing over that responsibility to he somebody should, else, to, a, just, to an actual GM. He's just awful, you know. Bill's dog has just not been very good at picking um, receivers. Picking receivers. <laughs> he's good at pretty much all the other players, That's but the receivers are dog just... dog picks the, picks the draft picks. Well, oh, look, Jennings got hurt. whoop de doo There's another practice squad player. I think so. Yep. It is what it is. I mean, he had a lot of opt-outs. I mean, look, to be fair to Bill, he coached us in, in, in games that were very competitive and we had no business being competitive in. Right. We had no business competing with Seattle. We almost beat Seattle. We had no business competing... With these guys. With, with these guys, with Buffalo the first time we played them. Almost beat them. We're a fumble away from winning that game. Right. You know, I mean, they were just, you know, had no business beating the Cardinals. We should have been annihilated by the Cardinals. Right. You know, and Bill coached really good game plans. With what he had to work with. With what he had to work with, which was not a whole lot. And, you know, unfortunately, you just don't have the offense that can win those close games anymore. And yeah. it is what it is. Yep. Happens to all the, everybody. Yeah. Happens to Meanwhile, them. the Bucks look like the best team in the NFC all of a sudden. Oh, God. So, you know. God help Belichick if Brady wins the Super Bowl this year. Oh, it would be the end of it. <laughs> so funny. It would be so funny. I mean, whatever. I wish Brady the best. I still love Tom. I still love watching his highlights, even though in the Bucks. He's, been, he's throwing bombs to so good. great to freaking Antonio Brown and, and he's still, he's still all good. those Gronkowski and Finally all those guys. Finally got the chemistry back. Yeah. I mean, he always had it with Gronk, but nah, now he's got it with everybody else, too. All right, well, we'll next see. Sunday, or well, this Sunday, rather, they play the Jets in the final yeah, the game last, of the season. Last, last game, thank God. Cause and then... Get, getting tired of first down runs <laughs> every week. Oh, my God. I mean, to be fair, this game was a little bit better because Buffalo did not run the ball that well. No. Uh, until the very end of the game when they did, when I think New England kind of gave up. Yeah, they'd give it up for but, sure. So that was that was good at least. At least Buffalo had an offense. It was fun to watch. It was exciting. It was, more, it was more fun to watch Buffalo than it was our yes. own team. <laughs> I mean, that's all I was. That's all I was asking for. You know, just somebody do something, and at least at least the Bills did something. Yeah. So yeah, because he just gets old watching both teams just run till the clock gets over, gets yeah. over with, and that's that's really been our issue this year. It's just every game's the same. Even the games they win, they're just boring. Outside of Seattle, you know, it's just every team run, 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 run. Clock's over. Game's over. And it's just like. Okay, nothing happened. <laughs> well, whatever. Um, yeah, I guess we'll end it here. This is Ryzen. And Liz. Thanks for watching. Um, you yeah, know, season is what it is. Next year, we'll rebuild. 
probably got to give it a few years and see what Bill can do. They'll probably coach another four or five years, and we'll see if we can build a team. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? All right. Take care, and best of luck, Bills.